Hello everyone, let's talk about something super important, Verilog interview questions. These are the question, the ones that interviewers almost always ask freshers. First, the difference between rage and wire. Think of wire as just a connection, it needs a driver, it can't store anything. But rage. That one can hold a value inside procedural blocks. Next, blocking versus non-blocking. Blocking uses is equal to and runs one after the other, just like software. Non-blocking uses greater than equal to, and multiple assignments can happen in parallel. That's why non-blocking is used in sequential logic. Big trap question, how do you avoid latches? Well, in combinational always blocks, you must assign outputs in every possible path. And in case statements, always use a default. Here's another question. What's the difference between case equality and logical equality? Logical equality ignores X and Z values. But case equality checks even X and Z. That's why logical equality is more for test benches. Next, sensitivity list. It simply decides when an always block runs. For combinational logic, always use at asterisk. For sequential logic, use at Ozich clock or at Nejic clock. Another one, what's synthesizable and what's not. Synthesizable code maps into actual hardware, flip-flops, muxes, gates. But things like initial, delays number $10 display, they're only for simulation, not real hardware. Case family. Normal case is strict. Case X ignores X and Z. It is risky in RTL because it can hide bugs. Case Z ignores only Z or Safer choice in RTL. Dot. And finally, generate blocks. They help you repeat or conditionally create hardware. But remember, inside generate for loops, you must use Genver, not integer. Because Genver works only at elaboration time, not at runtime. So there you go. These are the most common Verilog interview questions.